Up that away. Up that way. And it's right. Fuck. Holy oh. shit. I'm an addict for snickers. What's good? It's your boy DJ Dell's back with a brand new sneaker podcast here at the Sneaker Addict Show. My voice is back. If you were listening last week and watching some of the videos that I've been releasing till the end of this week, my voice has been just shot because of allergies. But I'm back, rocking, feeling great. Let's get into this podcast. Not going to do one tomorrow because it's really not much releasing. We have the Everglade 11s that are dropping tomorrow. It's a general release. I think if you're on it quick in the morning, you should be able to get them. They're at most retailers. 7.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sneakerratic.com. Go there, and I'll try to help you out with getting your kicks for retail. I'll put as much information as possible right before release time at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sneakerratic.com. So go there if you're looking for those kicks or other releases. Every Friday, I always try to help people out. It's something that I love to do to give back to all the viewers. Just put information to help everyone out. Make sure also to hit the like button right now. Just lets me know that you enjoy the show. And let's get into the podcast. First, I want to talk about the 2K14 LeBron shoe. It has shipped out to most people except me. Of course, I have no luck. Basically, they didn't ship my shoe yet because if you paid with PayPal, they sent out an email, which I did not get, saying that you need to call them up and give them a credit card number because it being so long since they first charged me that they need to literally just like have me pay over the phone. I didn't get the email or else I probably would have gotten the shoe today like most people did. If you have not gotten your shoe yet today, you did not get an email today, I suggest you calling them because that's what I had to do. I called them up and was like, hey, everyone's getting their shoes. I don't have mine. What's going on here? And they were like, oh, well, we sent out an email saying you had to call us and give us a credit card number so that we could charge you for the shoes and send them to you. I didn't get the email, so thank God I called today or else, you know, who knows when I would get them or if I would even get the damn shoes. So if you're sitting wondering what's going on, I suggest you get in on it and call them ASAP. Go to Nike's site, Nike.com, get their number and call them up and see what the deal is. Because I'm pretty sure if you paid with PayPal, you have to call them up. It was too long of a wait for them to charge via PayPal, so you have to call them up with a credit card. And being that so many people got their shoes today, of course, we got a lot of images shared all over social media. So now we have the opportunity to really get up close and look at all these images and get more of an opinion on what we all think about this 2K14 LeBron 11 shoe. In my opinion, I like the shoe just as much as I liked it before when I seen the images, but I gotta say I'm definitely disappointed. I mean, there's no 2K14 branding on the shoe at all. If you're a fan of 2K14, got this code by playing the game, why wouldn't there be 2K14 branding on the shoe? I mean, I looked at a ton of photos, which you could view on my blog, thesneakerratic.com. This is a podcast, it's just audio, so you could open up another window right now and check out the images while I'm talking, actually. Just go to the blog, thesneakerratic.com. I have a ton of photos, and the shoe has no branding that I can see, clearly. I mean, I viewed so many photos inside of the shoe. On the footbed, you, you would think at least it would say that. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's on the lace tips, and I just missed that it is on there, but... I don't really see any 2K14 branding on the label of the box. It doesn't even say 2K14. I think that Nike and 2K really didn't put enough effort into this project. And for it being a project that they actually charged you for, it'd be different if you won the shoe and it was free, like a contest. But you actually had to buy the shoe. It didn't come in a special box. It has no 2K14 branding on the shoe at all. It has cheetah print. When you think of King James, you think of a lion. I don't even know why they put the cheetah print on the shoe also. It kind of doesn't make much sense. They call it jungle print, but it's cheetah print. I like animal print on sneakers. I'm a fan of it. I've reviewed a ton of shoes with animal print on them. So for me, it's a go for me with the kick. I like it, but... 
for a lot of people, they don't like animal print, you know? I mean, a lot of heads are like, nah, that's not for me. Like, I'm not rocking with no animal print. So they've been waiting six months for a shoe that's so left field and not something that's more suitable for a 2K14 shoe. To me, it's really a letdown for a lot of people. And it's a good thing that I actually like animal print and red kicks because if I didn't, I'd be really annoyed. If I didn't like animal print, which I'm sure half of you that are listening right now do not like, you would be bummed out or you are bummed out. Or you're not bummed out, you're just thinking about reselling the shoe. I just think that it was just effortless when they put the shoe out. They didn't incorporate the video game. And that's just stupid to me. And just, as I keep saying over and over again, effortless. And it's very disappointing. Being that they also charged you for the shoe. You waited all this time. They charged you for a shoe that has no connection to 2K14 at all. But don't get me wrong. I'm really happy to have it. I will be wearing these kicks. They look sick, man. I know on foot, it's going to look really nice with the gold swoosh. And that print just contrasts really nice with the gold swoosh. The red upper looks like it's got a kind of look to it. Like it's got like different little shades on it from the photos. And also the interior is super fresh. I wish the outsole was either red glow in the dark or uh, gum bottom. But it is what it is. So that's my opinion on the shoe after seeing more images. Hopefully I will be getting this shoe in by Wednesday, Thursday and be able to knock out a real nice review. I would have had the shoe already if they actually sent me a damn email, but they never did. And now I have to do this whole process and wait for, you know, them to do all that stuff with my card and process my order. So we'll see when they actually process everything and they actually ship out my shoe. And that's it for um, the 2K talk. Let's talk about one more thing. I want to talk about pricing with Nike and Jordan brand. Because a lot of people want me to speak about this, how I feel about this Brazil pack, which consists of uh, Air Jordan 6. We've seen plenty of pictures of them. I think the sneaker's cool. I would like to own it, but I'm not dropping that kind of money on the shoe. Not because I don't have the money. It's principle, you know. It's just principle. I'm not spending $500 on an Air Jordan 6, and supposedly it comes with a Chris Paul shoe also. For $500? Like, What? I just think it's ridiculous, $500 is the price tag. There was photos that show the box label and it says $500 for a Jordan 6 and a Chris Paul shoe, CP0, I mean CP3. <laughs> it's crazy, $500, really? I mean, that's just out of control. But people are going to pay for it, and the reason why they're going to buy it, honestly, I would say 90% of the people, they, they want to flip it and try to make money because it's limited to only 2,000 pieces. Me, I'm not buying that shoe. They're not going to get my money for that pack. The cigar shoe that's coming out, I really want that one, and that's super overpriced. I think 250 for that shoe is ridiculous. It's a Jordan 6. These Jordan Retros should not cost over $200. To me, that's just unbelievable. And it's gonna come to the day where all the retros are gonna be $200 because people seem to not mind that they keep jacking up the price over and over again. Every year they raise the price five, ten dollars and it's the same damn shoe but they keep raising the price ten dollars and people are gonna say, oh well it's the economy. Things go up in price. Yeah they do but they don't go up that much in price, you know. Um, a loaf of bread doesn't cost ten dollars, you know what I'm saying? It did go up in price but it went up five, 10, 15 cents a year, you know, uh, gas, gas goes up, but it doesn't go up in price like this, you know, this is ridiculous, it's totally the brand trying to just get as much money as they possibly can while the hype is there, and it's going to continue to be like that until sales slow down, and then they're going to stop jacking up the prices, and that's just what it is, this Brazil pack, $500, I mean, Maybe if some of the money's going to charity, that would be cool, but I haven't heard anything about that. That just seems like way too much money for an Air Jordan 6 and a Chris Paul shoe. But they're getting their money. Look at the Nike Shooting Star Foam Posit Penny Pack. Came with the Foam Posit 1. A premium Foam Posit 1 retails for $250. 
The Little Penny Posit retails for $180. I did a review on the first actual retail pair, a single retail pair that we'll be releasing in a week or so. I did a review on it. If you want to check out that review, look in the description box below. But I did a review. The box price on that is $180. So do the math. $250 plus $180. So we got $430 right now. So they charged... 70 extra dollars to make the price $500 on that shooting stars pack for what? For that box that packaging which isn't anything really that crazy. It's got a bunch of artwork on cardboard We paid 70 extra dollars for that to me it's ridiculous But everyone's buying the pack. I would say 90% are buying the shoe because they're gonna resell it. and then you got 10% that really wanted the shoe shout out to Sneaker Dave I know he really loves Penny. I know he got his pairs I wish I had mine because I want to wear them But at the same time, I just feel like it was kind of expensive I feel like it was really expensive for what you got and I passed on it I could have gotten a pair for retail. I passed on it I know I probably could have bought it and flipped it for the resellers that are listening, but I'm not a reseller. I'm, I'm not into selling shoes. I just really like wearing them and just doing what I do, keep it moving and do my sneaker show, of course, but I'm not into the whole business side of things with reselling. I don't sell shoes, that's just me. But um, wasn't interested in that, so I passed on that pack. I just feel like, you know, by passing on stuff, maybe it'll show other people you know you don't have to buy everything and just because you have the money doesn't mean that you should always buy it i had the money for the shoes i got money for the shoes but it's the principal 70 extra dollars for what like i feel like you like digging in my pockets like you're trying to pull a fast one on me and that's where i'm like nah i'm passing on stuff i'm so into the jordan 6 though i really feel like i should pass on the cigar 6 because i think it's kind of a ripoff but I really love the way that shoe looks and unfortunately I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get it because I'm gonna be traveling both days that they do the raffles and I won't be able to get a raffle ticket so the only way I'm gonna be able to actually get the shoe is online and you already know how that goes um, so unfortunately I probably won't get the cigar sixes unless I get a hookup somehow but it's a quick strike and Usually with the quick strikes, I don't really have hookups with that. If anyone's listening that can help me out, though, definitely let me know. I need a size 9. Definitely size 9. Even a size 8.5 or a 9.5 will do. And shout out to everyone that always looks out for me here and there. I really appreciate that. I have fans of the show that I always try to look out, and I appreciate it. I have people from time to time that ask me, Yo, why don't you ever do giveaways, too? I actually do giveaways, but I don't just do giveaways to anyone because half the time you do giveaways, the people don't even care about it. You know, the wrong person gets it, but I do giveaways. I pay attention to my real hardcore fans and I, from time to time, I'll send them stuff. And also, shout out to everyone I've been meeting, man. I Every time I go out, I seem to be meeting more and more people that watch the show. If you ever see me, make sure to say what's up. A lot of times I get people staring at me. And then they'll hit me on Twitter like an hour later and be like, yo, was that you over there? And then I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh my God, I should have said something. I would have loved to take a picture with you. If you think it's me, it probably is me. <laughs> Feel free to say what's up unless, you know, it's something crazy. Like I'm in the middle of something like, you know, where my hands are full and I'm busy. But if I'm just walking and you watch the show and you love the show, say what's up to me. It's an honor to meet everyone that listens to the show that's a fan you want to take a photo for your Instagram, don't be shy. Just come and say what's up. Like, just say what's up. I'm just a normal dude, man. Just like everyone else out there. I'm always down to take pics as long as, as I was saying, if I'm like hectic, then it's just not the right time. But if you think it's me, it's most likely me. Just say my name and if I acknowledge you, then it is me. If I don't, then it's not, obviously. But shout out to all the fans, man, that I've been meeting lately. I met this young kid who was like 15 years old. He recently survived a car crash, almost died. And, you know, it was an inspiring story. I told him to roll with me. I was at the mall, took him shopping with me for a little bit. Cool meeting that kid. And it was cool meeting a bunch of other fans that I met that day, too. That was I was actually with the kid and meeting other fans of the show. So it was really dope. So I just wanted to end the podcast off with that message right there. If you think it's me, it probably is. Just shout out my name. And if it is, I'm going to acknowledge you. All right? I'm just a human being just like you all. <laughs> and that's it for today. 
Make sure to go to the blog, thesneakerratic.com, Friday, Saturday morning, 7.55 a.m. right before release time. We'll try to help you again your kicks like the Everglade 11's releasing tomorrow. But go there every single day. Every single day, there's constantly stuff being updated. Morning, noon, and night like clockwork, thesneakerratic.com. Make sure to download my music too. It's free. Check my music in the description box below. And look out for more reviews. We got a lot of heat coming. Look in the description box below. Follow my social networks. Download my music. And make sure to like the podcast. Hit the like button if you're loving the show. And share this. Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Let people know about this show right here by doing that. By you doing that helps the show grow. As long as the show is constantly growing as far as an audience, I will keep doing this show until it stops. So if you love the show and you want it to keep going, just share the video, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Let your circle of people know about this show right here. Just by doing that, you would think it may not be much, but if everyone does it, it's a whole lot. And it takes you guys to make this show what it is. Without everyone listening and viewing, there's no show. It's just like I was saying before, if you're a fan of the show, I love meeting the fans just as much as you, the fans, love meeting me and taking some Instagram flicks or even just saying a quick what's up, you know? And that's it. We out. DJ Dell, you know I love you. Love you. Love you. Hey, this just man that we win in his plans. Raw status, y'all just follow commands. Young rich and just don't give a damn. No new friends, all about the Benjis and fam. Don't you know like Adidas, top tens be the meanest. Wait me since the fetus, big ego, I'm conceited. I don't give a fuck about you or your weak crew. Talking all that rah rah till you see it's come through. Then you're quiet, not a sound or an action. Trolling online, but a personal reaction. I don't care what you say, I'm doing me. Bigger threat, DJ Dell's free max B. I don't care what you 